Hello folks, I've gone here, hope all is well with you. In this video I've called, No Need to Get on Your Bike. And I found myself thinking over the past couple of days about Norman Tennant, the Conservative politician. Which might seem a bit odd, but um, let me explain why and you'll understand it a bit more. With all the sport I was talking about uh, that I've been watching, um, the women's ashes and the men's ashes, uh, Wimbledon, the Women's World Cup has just kicked off. There's the Open Golf Tournament. Um, all sport all over the summer. And then there's music beforehand, which I, I've spoken about, the music events going on in the summer. And I did a video the other day about the fact about home advantage in sport and the fact that if you're starting an internet business or you think about starting an internet business, and I call the internet a staggering abundance of opportunity, one of the opportunities that presents is that you can do it from home. You've always got this home advantage. And if you choose to work elsewhere, as long as you've got an internet connection and a device, the internet allows you that opportunity, but you don't have to, you can do it all from home. And then I started to think about all the, the sports people and musicians who travel all the time uh, as part of their job. Their job involves traveling most of the time, the majority of the time, the vast majority of the time, unless their event happens to be at home. And even then, it, just because it's in their home country doesn't mean that there won't be travel involved. Obviously that's true, you might think obviously that's true with sports people who travel all the time. And players, say football for example, the Women's World Cup is on, players will go and play for a club in another country. So they're going to, they go to work in another country to further their career. Musicians travel all over the place, either in domestically or internationally, on tour. If you think about some of the biggest bands in the world, maybe in the world of heavy metal, uh, Iron Maiden, ACDC, and then you've got bands like Dire Straits and Queen, who the record companies at the beginning of their careers didn't want to know. So what did these bands do? They toured. They toured relentlessly in their own countries, and then they took their touring uh, internationally and around the world and they built up their audience and their fan following so eventually the record companies came calling and with an open checkbook saying how much do you want they engineered those opportunities for themselves in the same way that sports players might go and work abroad to engineer opportunities for themselves do they moan about that no they don't and that made me think about Norman Tebbit because Norman Tebbit was famously, uh, I don't know about, sort of misquoted in the early 1980s. So 40 years ago, there were some riots in London and it was suggested that one of the causes of riots was unemployment. And Norman Tebbit said, I grew up, uh, my father was unemployed. He didn't riot, he got on his bike and looked for work and kept looking until he found it. So can you see what he was talking about there? He was, I want to say he was misquoted. He was often misquoted as saying, if you're unemployed, it's up to you to get on your bike and look and get work and stop moaning about it. So he didn't exactly say that, but the gist of it, the gist of it basically was that. And if you look at sports people and people in the music industry, that's exactly what they do. They do it their whole career because they have to, they don't moan about it. So what Norman Tebbit was saying, I'm putting words into his mouth here, so maybe I shouldn't, be, maybe I shouldn't say this is what he was saying, it's what maybe I would interpret it as, is you get, obviously you had it back then, 40 years ago that was, he said that, fast forward today, you still get, you get this sense of entitlement. And I think social media and the internet might have exacerbated that a bit. Ooh, nearly got that word wrong. A bit of a sense of entitlement. Oh, work has to come to me. Why should I have to travel for work? Work should come to me. I should be able to stay at home and work should come to me. Why should it? Why shouldn't you have to travel for work? If you look at the sports industry and the music industry and the acting industry and lots of industries, people travel all over the world for work. 
without moaning about it. So the people who moan and say, oh, I'm entitled to stay at home, work should have to come to me. Why should it? It shouldn't. But here's what I'm talking about internet business, which is similar to a video I did the other day. What an opportunity the internet allows us is that we can start an internet business with nothing more than, than an internet connection and a device. And that's all we need. We don't have to travel for that work. We can do it at home. So if people might have this sense of entitlement that they should be there entitled to stay at home and have work come to them, well, the internet allows that. So it sort of takes away that excuse, doesn't it? For people who might have that idea. And what a wonderful opportunity it is that you can choose whether to work at home or you can travel. If you've got an internet business, you can do it traveling around the world, if that's your thing, traveling around your country domestically or traveling around the world internationally. It's up to you. So you can get on your bike if you want to, but you don't have to get on your bike. <laughs> now I talk about sport a lot. The Tour de France is ongoing at the moment. Biking is involved. So you might, there might be a passion of yours. Sports cycling or just leisure cycling might be a passion of yours. Excuse me, and you could you could write about that. You can create content about that. You can create content about any of your passions and monetize that content online. And that's what I coach and train people how to do in my uh, my training offer, which is called the Content Monetization Machine. And you can message me if you'd like to find out more about it, or you can pop along to the website, thecontentmonetizationmachine.com. So let me know what you think. Was Norman Tibbet right 40 years ago when he spoke about getting on your bike and looking for work instead of rioting? And is it right today that with all these people in the, all these industries that have to go and look for work and don't moan about it, they do it quite happily because it's what is required if they want to progress in that industry. That's the choice. And the fact with an internet business, you can choose whether to do it from home or to do it traveling on the road. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below wherever you had to be seeing this video. Signing off for now and wishing you as ever health and happiness. And I'll speak to you again soon.